Hey everyone, Sean here, and this is a Terry's Chocolate Orange. I'm going to use this to answer a question, which is, can the moon be viewed by two places at once on the Earth? Now, I don't just mean like two places on the same side. That's trivial, of course. If the moon's out there, you're going to see it here. What about if you had somebody, say, in Nashville, Tennessee, and also somebody in Perth, Australia? How can we figure out if the moon can be viewed by both places at the same time? Now, the way to answer this is to think about these lines here that are running through our orange. This is similar to the lines that we have drawn on the globe. Uh, they're called longitude. Essentially, they're lines that connect the North Pole to the South Pole. And the way that we measure them on the Earth is that we begin with a zero line. Here on the Earth, and on our maps, we nominate Greenwich, England, as being the zero line. And then we measure around in one direction from Greenwich, and we measure east, and so every degree from that, we write its number of degrees, and then a little e at the end, and that's east. And then we measure it also in the other direction, and that's however many degrees west, which when you see coordinate systems of longitude and latitude, the longitude ones always have east or west written on them. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the longitude of Nashville and the longitude of Perth, and then using a little bit of geometry, try and figure out whether the moon can be seen by both of those cities at the same time. So we've got the Earth here, and I've marked in a couple of different lines around it. We have some lines here representing different lines of longitude. This one here is zero. Zero degrees, and that's Greenwich. Nashville is at 87 degrees west. Perth is 100 and 16 degrees east. This being the North Pole just here. There's Santa's house. If we draw a line perpendicular to this, this way, that's going to be the limit of this person's sight in this direction. And same thing over on this side. If the moon is moving around in this area here, then it's not going to be seen by Nashville and Perth at the same time. The thing is though, the moon is not that close to the Earth. If the Earth is this size, then at this scale, the moon will be around about this size. But how far away is it? If the moon is this size, it's going to be this far away from the Earth. The orbit around the Earth that the moon takes is not a perfect circle. It's an ellipse, and so there is going to be times when it's at its apogee, and then over the course of its orbit, we'll move back towards its perigee. So it means that this band here is the limit of where the moon is going to be as it orbits around the Earth. Also, we've got the ends of our sight lines here and this is our sight line from Perth so everything that can be seen from Perth in the night sky this is the horizon line they're going to see everything in this direction this line here is from Nashville and again horizon line and they're going to see everything that's in this direction so as you can see there are going to be times when the moon can be seen by both cities Well, it's coming apart. <laughs> it's 2012. Hey, <laughs> mm. 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 mm.